One of the many desks where each officer spends at least half of his life writing reports that no one will ever read. Forms to fill out. One of the things that I don't miss about police work. Police Department, New York State. All the officers' shifts are on this blackboard. Name of the officers and their patrolling locations. Their radio frequencies are written here as well. That's the crazy Chinese cab driver who left me at the port. What the hell is he doing here? What are you doing here? You! It you! I knew it! You report me! Tell all to police! What the hell are you talking about? Yes, you pretend, but you one of them! One of them that hate foreigners! Yes, you sexist! Racist, not sexist. Yes, you racist! You tell police to get me out of your country! Listen, buddy, I couldn't care less if you're Chinese, African, or from Easter Island. I don't know why you're here. And if you stop squawking, maybe I'll be able to understand what's happening here. You know report me to police? No, I have other things to worry about than a damn cab driver. If it's not you, then who was it? I confused. Welcome to the club. Ten bucks to enroll and free whiskey Fridays. Ten dollar? That expensive. Forget about it. Let's start with you telling me how you ended up here. And your name, too, because I'm not calling you the Chinese cab driver for the rest of this conversation. My name is Chon Chishiwan. Okay, I'm happy with Chon. Ah, do as you want. Why are you here? As soon as I leave port. As soon as you ran from port. I know one. Me? Me? Continue with the story. As soon as I leave port, I realize I have to go bathroom. Water is not what once was, you know? I like hearing the details, but you can skip some of them. Okay, okay. I stop cab and look for a place where I can go to bathroom. Why not do it near the cab? I timid person, and this not your business. Anyway, when I get back, I see a man near cab. A police officer? No, not a police officer. No uniform, but gun in hand. A gun? Yes, good! When I saw him, I hide behind dumpster. I stop. He thief because he look in cab. Then suddenly he go away. I waited, hiding behind dumpster, afraid that they come back. When I come out, police come! I say that I just cab driver, but they bring me here. Tell me about the guy with the gun. He had mean face. In fact, I know trust and stay hiding. I cab driver, I know mean faces. What was he doing? He looked at my cab like looking for something. Did he say or do anything strange? Before he go, he cursed a certain Mocklin. Mocklin. McLean? Yes, name seems same. You know? It's not important if I know him or not. Tell me more about this guy. Hmm. I know trust you. I afraid that if I tell you, I get in trouble. Hey, I'm risking life in the slammer for this case. So if you know something, talk. Oh, you threaten all you want, but I no say nothing. I not know nothing. Damn cab driver. Maybe Victoria could give me some information so I can make John talk. Now I have to go. Ah, you go. Come in. Hi, Victoria. I have a few things I want to ask you. What is it, Jack? A 
about the Chinese cab driver. What do you want to know? Why is he here? His cab was half a mile from the crime scene. They found it parked near the port. The officers saw him, and when they found out he had taken you to the port, they brought him here. Since he got here, he hasn't done anything but whine and cry to get his cab back. Where's his cab now? It's in the department's warehouse. The officers brought it there. Obviously, it's been seized. Interesting. Maybe now I have something to use to make Chan talk. I don't have anything else to ask you. Whatever you want. I better go now. If you need me, I'll be in my office. You again? What you want? I have an offer for you. What this about? Tell me about the guy that you saw near your cab, and I'll make sure you get your cab back. Hmm. I don't believe you. You lie! Whatever you want. I bet that it'll be fun to explain to the detective who'll be questioning you why you're driving someone else's cab. Okay, okay. I tell you what I see. But until I see cab, I no tell you nothing. You're not as dumb as I thought. Okay, done deal. I'll get your damn cab back, and you tell me what you saw. Deal. About your cab, I need your license plate. License plate? You mean numbers on car? Yes, that. I not know a number. How the hell am I supposed to get your cab back if you don't even remember the license plate number? I remember only last two letters, C and I, like China, my country. I know remember other. If there are seven numbers, that means I need seven numbers. What do you think I can do with just two numbers? Now I have to go. Ah, you go. Hi, officer. How can I help you? About a seized cab. Ah, yes. The one belonging to that whining Chinese guy. How can I get a seized car released? Do you believe in miracles? What do you mean? Release of a vehicle, Procedure 75. To release a vehicle, you need the form on its seizure. If the vehicle was seized because it was abandoned, you need Form B43. If the vehicle was seized following a police investigation, you need Form B26. If the vehicle was seized due to an unpaid fine, you need Form F-12. Once the form with the vehicle's general information is filled in, it must be signed by the head detective of the department that seized the vehicle, and then delivered to the administrative officer, which, luckily, is me. Isn't there a faster way of getting the damn cab back? Yes, buying another one. I don't know the license plate number. Your problem. Don't you have any way of figuring out what the cab's license plate number is? Yeah, it's listed on the seized vehicle registry that I have right here. And I obviously can't take a look at that list. Nope, this information is confidential and they call it that because it's up to the police to decide who sees it. And you aren't one of those who can. It's just a license plate number. What could I do with it? I don't know, and I don't care. I have other things to worry about. So if you don't have any other questions, I'll get back to work. I don't have anything else to ask you. Great news. Goodbye, officer. Goodbye. Hi, officer. How can I help you? I'd like to talk to Malone. Sorry, the lieutenant is working a case. I have to speak with him. It's urgent. Sorry, but even if I wanted... I'm the key suspect in the case the lieutenant is working on. I 
I don't think that Lieutenant Malone would be happy if he finds out you sent me away. Okay, wait here. I'll go call him. Good. Now that the officer isn't there, let's try to figure out the cab's license plate number. Here's the list of seized cars. There are more than a dozen license plate numbers. I have to figure out which one belongs to John. John said that his license plate ended with C and I. This is the only one on the list that matches. This has to be John's cab. RP-834-CI. I should remember it. The officer is coming back. The lieutenant is waiting for you in the interrogation room. I think you know where that is. Yes, I've already taken the scenic tour. to give a full confession? I have some questions about Sean. Why should I answer your questions? You haven't thought of investigating for yourself, have you? Hey, we aren't in a crime novel. If I find out you're conducting your personal investigations, I'll toss you in a cell for hindering the investigation. If I do nothing, I'll end up behind bars accused of homicide. If I do my own investigation, I'll end up behind bars for hindering yours. Your threats are all starting to sound the same. Have you ever noticed that? Provoke all you like, Del Nero. I've seen people like you hundreds of times. You play strong and you hide behind your sarcasm, but you give in sooner or later. Goodbye. See you soon, Del Nero. the license plate number and the name of the person who's supposed to sign. Now I just need to fill out the form. Signed for... Okay, let's start. I should have filled it all out correctly. Now I just have to give it to the officer on duty. Here's the release form. Let me check. Hmm, seems in order. It's incredible that you got the head detective's signature so quickly. I'm a lucky guy. More than lucky. Head detective Sanders died of a heart attack last month. Funny how he can still sign releases. Okay, let's knock it off with this show. If you haven't arrested me yet, it's clear that you want something for the release of the cab. What is it? Well, you know how things are nowadays. We have an economic crisis, there's rent to pay, diapers for the kids. I could close an eye if you help me. Let's try with 10 bucks. Is this enough? $10? You're definitely not Rockefeller, are you? If I were rich, I certainly wouldn't be here bribing some kid cop. Hey, stop preaching. You just falsified a document. You're the last one who can preach. You try living with what the police force pays. I have a wife and a daughter to support. And I assure you that at the end of the day, I don't care if everything was on the up and up at work if I can't give my family a decent meal. Okay, cut out the sob story. Take the money and release the damn cab. I'll give the order to release that cab. Don't worry. Your cab was released. You freed my cab? Yes, 
I freed your cab. You no lie? Dannazione. Your cab was released, and it cost me ten bucks. So now let's talk about what you saw at the port. Okay, okay. Chan starts talking about the guy with the gun. I find out that, hiding behind the trash cans, he didn't see much of the face that, a second before, he had described as not very desirable. The guy wasn't doing anything strange. He was glancing at the cab in between a curse against Sean and a puff on his cigarette. A very strong-smelling cigarette, according to Chan. An armed hitman with a taste for good tobacco. This is everything that I can find out about the guy who probably killed Sean. Certainly not enough to find out something about his identity. Interesting. Now I tell you everything. I go away? No, we have to go somewhere first. We have to? Why I come with you? Because I need your cab. I know intention, being your cab driver. In that case, I could tell the police officers a story about a Chinese guy driving some Mexican guy's cab. Damn it! This is unfair! Welcome to New York. I don't understand why you want to come back here. The armed guy that saw you near your cab was looking for something. Probably while his friend with the quick hook was looking around the piers, he was going through the neighboring areas. When you ran away, he must have seen you and followed you, thinking that you might have had what they were looking for. The arrival of the police must have made them run away. That makes me think that whatever they were looking for must still be at this port. Okay, I wish you good luck. See you. Stop right there. You're not going anywhere. I paid 10 bucks to get your cab back. And since my car is still parked in Harlem, I decided you'll be my driver. No way, my friend. Forget it. If you like your cab, don't make waves. Because when I get back, if you aren't here, I swear I'll take this jalopy of yours and demolish it. Damn it. Okay, I'll be your driver. But you promise you cost me no trouble. We're in New York. This city is the capital of trouble. 